Hi everyone, this is Paul Gazak, Dean of Academic Engagement, and I'm going to give you a brief overview of RMU's Leading Edge. So Leading Edge can be found at robertmorris.campuslabs.com slash engage. This is a website, so anybody can find it on the internet. And at the most basic way of describing it is that it's an opportunity for departments around the university as well as student clubs and organizations to share events, news, and involvement opportunities. There's more to it than that, but that's sort of the basic overview of it. If you go to this website, everything you see here currently, this is all on the public facing side of the website, so anybody on the internet can find this and access this information. However, everybody at RMU, faculty, staff, and students, we have access to kind of the behind the scenes piece of it. And in order to do that, go to sign in up here. And you're going to sign in using your Robert Morris University email address and password. And now here we go. We're inside of Leading Edge. Now when you get inside of Leading Edge, if you're involved already in some departments or student organizations, you'll see your memberships there. And as you scroll down, you'll see listings for upcoming events, and you'll also see the latest news postings. Now there's not a ton of stuff posted just yet because we're still getting students and faculty and staff into the system. And as more people get into the system and start uploading content, then you'll see a whole bunch of stuff here. For example, Previously, if I go to view all events and show past events, I was for a time posting a number of things that were happening around the university to show as an example of what this might look like as more content starts coming into the system. Now if I go back to home for a second, when you're here on the home page, imagine you're a student and you come to this page, what you'll be able to do is first you'll be able to see what events are happening around the university that you might want to get involved in. Let's imagine if, you know, this is mid-April and I as a student was interested in the Battle of the Pop-Ups, I could have clicked on this event, I could have seen the date and time of the event was happening, I could have added it to my Google Calendar if I wanted to, it tells me where it's at, it gives a little description, who's hosting the event, and while this event was still active, we would have seen an RSVP button as well. And I'll show you an example of what that looks like. Let's imagine I want to join the student leadership meeting coming up this week. I click there, same information, description. I can RSVP to the event right there as well and tell people who are hosting the event that I will be coming to it. Let's also say that I'm a student and I want to get involved around the university. What kind of things can I get involved in? Well, if I look at organizations, I can see a list of all the different organizations that are available for me to join. And let's say that as I'm scrolling through this list here that I decide I really want to be a part of the Eagle newspaper. I'm going to click on that and then I can simply click on join and that'll send a notification to the officers of the Eagle telling them that they have a new member who's interested in being a part of their organization. So this makes it really simple and easy for students to find opportunities to get involved and to contact the people who are running those different organizations and groups. Now sharing news around the university is another thing that this platform will allow us to do. We will saw the news down here, the latest news listed right there. And if I want to see the full stream of news, I can come up here, click there, and now here are all the different news items that are posted inside of the platform. Now as more content starts coming through, there are some real advantages to this platform. It will allow students to find opportunities to get involved, it will allow them to find events they can go to, they'll be able to learn about news that's happening around the institution, and it also gives departments and students a more direct line to one another. So for example, if a student wants to post their event, they do that within their own organization, and just so there's no concerns, events and news items that are posted by students and student organizations come to the administrative end of the site for approval first. So students can't just post anything to events and news, but it gives them a more direct and immediate line to share what they're doing, what's going on, and what people can get involved in around the institution. So that's just some of the very basic pieces of Leading Edge. There's some 
very interesting and fun and cool opportunities that we'll get into later on, such as ways to track attendance at events, ways to populate a co-curricular transcript so that students will be able to automatically have a transcript populated of what events they've attended, what organizations they hold officer roles in. We'll be able to do things called co-curricular pathways where students will be able to track their progress through certain parts of their academic career, such as the first year experience. So there's much, much more to this entire platform than what I've just showed you now, but this sort of on the surface are the, some of the basic functions of being able to have a central place where we can communicate across departments between students, faculty, and staff. As you start looking around in the organization, if you in the side of the platform, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to get in touch with me. I'd be happy to answer any of your questions.